Hello guys, welcome to another time out with me on the channel. My name is Alec Godwin if you're here for the first time and today we're talking about the brand new Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K G2 and I think with this filter you can't go wrong. Alright guys, if you're here for the first time, welcome. Today, I want to talk about the brand new camera which is um, we should be shipping anytime now. I'm not planning to get one. Just judging from my experience with the 6K Pro, I know you can't go wrong. Especially if you if you have this, this filter. Uh, I have two choices for you. This filter is from ICE and it's an IR cut um, UV um filter i think uh, this is an 86 that's what i use for my diesel film zoom um 86 to 95 i think they have about two options so figure out that before you get it but it's good it definitely helps for the ir cut if you have the 6k pro that's fine that's what i rock but um, I always attach this to support the internal ir cut if you see it's got a kind of tint to it you know but it doesn't you know affect the image at all the the other way which is the more professional way which i will recommend more is the is the nisi filter the nisi um 4x 5.56 the larger filters for the matte boxes now that filter is the bomb like i haven't done a test to compare with this one but I already the Nissi above this though, but if you're not using a Mac box, then you might want to rock with this, you know, for simple. I have both of them because uh, when I'm not using that, I'm using this. You can't just buy any variable NDs out there. You will need IR cut pollution NDs. So NDs with IR cut. So don't just get, um, maybe you were using a Sony or a Canon and you're switching to Blackmagic, you want to transfer all your ND filters to the Blackmagic, they will, they will come with pollution. If you don't know, um, IR pollution is something that affects the Blackmagic cameras a lot. And the internal NDs end very strong with the IR cut. In, in other words, the coating to stop those uh, pollution is not very strong. It is there, but it's just to support whatever you got going on. So uh, alternatively, like I said, would be the Nisi 4x5.65 ND filters, which are um, 250 a pop. That's what I got mine. Now, I also have this um, IR cut from Tilter, which is a um, Vasex, or Va uh, Vasex, okay? I think the Tilter one that fits in this box is about 60 bucks or 65 bucks, something like that. So this will be, you know, the in between. If you already rock this one, then you go for that. Um, I think it's decent as well. I haven't done any comparison, but standalone, you know, I, I was happy with the image. Um, the camera is great. The fact that it's uh, 1500 nits, I never had a problem with my Cisco Pro outdoors. I never, I never needed monitors. 99% of the time I used it outdoors and never needed monitors. Um, unless monitors for somebody else that's in, on the field with me. For me, I have all three and I have three because I have two cameras, okay? Um, you might want to rock with this or this or at least two of them should be enough when you are rocking with the mad box and without the mad box. Um, um, the fact that Blackmagic didn't bring any other camera, you know, this was just something like, okay, hold on. Uh, a lot of people are excited and it's a big deal. Um, trust me, it's a big deal. It's not what we expected. It's not what we wanted. But um, for those that are just coming in to Blackmagic and trying to get that we're going for the 6K, now the G2 is like even got better for the same price man now all of a sudden you can have two table screen and you know the 6k if you have the 6k 
Ah, I will say you better want to consider upgrading to the Cisco G2 because it's a, it's night and day, you know. Uh, better still, I will I will go for the Cisco Pro, you know. But if you already have a lot of those filters, like I said, you can't go wrong with the Cisco G2. All right, the Cisco is great the image is great but unless it's your second camera you know that's like stationary that you know you don't you don't you just keep it on sticks then that's fine you know keep it you know but if it's your your main camera uh, you want to be more flexible and get the 6k pro or the 6k g2 either way you can't go wrong so but it's your decision to make guys um but we we're happy with the options. Now the Cisco price is going to drop even further. Uh, probably you'll find only in used market, but if you know you need two cameras, hold on to your Cisco and 4K and have them as the big cameras. All right, we have giveaway on the channel. In fact, I'm giving away um, Blackmagic um, G2, Cisco G2 cage, which is the same thing as the Cisco Pro. Uh, I have from small rig and from um, U-Rig, uh, I think, I'll write it on the screen. Um, I have uh, three cages for giveaway, Blackmagic, Cisco K Pro, and Cisco K G2. It can work for either of them. You can grab any of those. We got more, so if you don't know, we are giving away 49 items and uh, uh, filmmaking gears and you can if you're subscribed to this channel you can be a part of it and um, we'll, be, we'll be glad to have you on board so thank you guys for watching don't forget to like subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video peace I'm ready for 49 items although uh, sponsorships um, we are open to sponsorship for any company who wants to be a part of this can join it but um, with or without any sponsorship i will fulfill my promise items like lenses sliders um uh, lights um yeah, dollies and you know trust me it's gonna be a lot of stuff that you need not not craps you know i i won't give you crap promise 49 items Filmmaking tools that will enhance your career at least from point A to point B, you know, that's what we're giving out. So um, support, like, share, subscribe and join the family and be part of it.